Hello again everybody, I am the Soviet Warlord bringing you another episode of Minecraft. Uh, you'll probably recognise this as the Desert Mining Camp. And you're probably wondering what I'm doing out here. Or well, if you have a look at my inventory, you'll know exactly what I'm doing out here. Yes, full inventory of sand. Why? Because I spent pretty much the last hour desecrating this hill over here. There's almost no sand left on it. <laughs> Just dribs and drabs. The rest of it is just bare sandstone and regular stone. It's kind of funny, really. Oh, creeper. Hello, creeper. I don't have my bow. Yeah, I came here with an empty inventory specifically for this purpose. I also took one full stack of cactus just so it would save me a job later. So I'm going to head back to the tower because this all needs to be refined for the next layer of the tower. See you guys in a minute. Ah, Hampton Tower in all its glory. Well, nearly all its glory. I still have those rings to do. Not much, though. But from a distance, this place looks brilliant. But I really need to get rid of these trees. They're kind of blocking the view. And I guess I could use some extra wood for the uh, construction up top. Got some plans that will probably require spruce and birch. Still, let's get all this stuff on to fix and cook all this sand into glass. Oh shit, there's already glass in these ones. Shit, I forgot. Ah, oh, this one's free. This one's free. This is going to take years, I swear. Still, I'm going to cook all this stuff up. And I'll be back in a little while. This will take quite a while. Alright, everybody, you'll notice I'm at the obsidian pool. Or... There was one up here, but as you can tell, there's nothing here. No, I mined every piece. So now I've gone down here. I think there was a, a large redstone deposit down here, and I'm slowly chipping away at this deposit of the obsidian. I've got a stack and a bit. There's also a stack in the chest at home. That makes roughly two and a half stacks. I'm going to need probably three times that amount for the tower. Luckily, I've got this unbreaking three pick. And 14 diamond at home in case this thing ever goes wrong. If I get a few more levels I might try and enchant it and get a level 30. Maybe even combine it with this one. Hopefully I get efficiency 4 or efficiency 5. That would be nice. Not getting me hopes up though. This obsidian takes so long. I think it's 10 seconds a block. It's ridiculous. I do miss the old efficiency pick. So I'm going to try and get roughly three stacks and I'll rejoin you back up at the tower. <sighs> I'm telling you what, this obsidian mining is some really, really tiring work. I just went upstairs and refixed the furnaces for the next lot of glass. I'll open up a chest up there for all the things I need for this tower. Um, I've got about 1,800 blocks of glass upstairs and I need another 1,500 I think to completely fix this tower the way I want it to be anyway. This is going to take a lot of work. Oh and also I decided I'm going to collect a lot of gold because I want to make the pyramid underneath the base out of gold. I know it can be done with iron, it can be done with diamond and emerald but I think gold just looks the most impressive but it's going to need an absolute ton of resources but I'm willing to put the time and effort in to do it so just depends how long that's gonna take I did find a couple of pieces of gold while mining out this uh, obs oh shit <laughs> yes indeed I did no I'm, I'm only kidding I didn't actually throw out I'm breaking three diamond pickaxe into a fire all right who am I kidding yes I did but I found a more diamonds and B, I actually enchanted one before I went down there, hence why my level was at 2. Um, I haven't brought that with me at the moment because I haven't explored this mine shaft yet. I haven't lit anything up. I don't really... Whoa. Good call. I didn't really want to risk taking an unbreaking uh, and efficiency pick down here, or at least a very good pick down here. Forgot what that one upstairs has. But... Um, I went and got myself some more experience. Just found a couple of diamonds, as you just saw. Also found a bit of gold in here. 
Darn my incompetence for not bringing the sword. Oh, come on now. There we go. But yes, I did in fact throw an unbreaking three diamond pickaxe with almost two thirds of its full usage into a fire and wasted it. <clears throat> yep. I did it. I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I admit it. But uh, there's not really much I can do about it, so... <gasps> Whoa! Yes! Some surface diamonds. My favourite. God, this mine shaft has got fucking loads of them. Whoa. How far am I down? Twelve. This is a really deep mine shaft. I don't think I've been in a mine shaft this low down. But hey! Oh shit. There also seems to be a lot of lava surrounding this cave, so I really need to be careful where I'm digging. That's cool. But yeah, I need to grab hold of the redstone. Redstone here. I want to see if I can find some more surface diamonds. That was brilliant. Oh. I take six hits without a weapon, that's ridiculous. Only a little bat. Hmm. Give me that iron. All this material is extra experience anyway. I will eventually set up something like a mob spawner, but not right at this moment. Oh wow. That's a cave and a half. Right, now I need to find my way back. Oh, more iron. Give me that. There's so much lava around here, I'm being very careful where I dig. This whole shaft seems to be built on top of one. A lava deposit, so I'm being careful. Anyway, I better get back and refine some of this stuff and go get my uh, top quality pickaxe from back home. I also made a backup here but I'm using my old tools first. Anyway I'll be back at Hampton Tower in a second. Right, I've been doing a bit of bookkeeping. Sorry my microphone's a bit far away. I've been doing some bookkeeping. Now this is the diamond pick I was talking about. Fortune 2, efficiency 3. Uh, the Fortune 2 is going to come in so much handy. The efficiency is going to be fucking amazing for that obsidian shit. Now, I have also brought something special into the mix, which I am going to put upstairs. You'll notice I'm carrying an iron pick enchanted, which is almost fucked. I wasted my last levels renaming that pick. First of all, we have the total number of deaths. Hello. Which is one. But over here we have the Stakhanov pickaxe repairs. This is Stakhanov's pickaxe. Oh yes. If you haven't heard of Stakhanov, you might want to look him up. Alexei Stakhanov, the Russian superhero. Since I got a really good pickaxe, I thought I would uh, work on it. It's almost broken at the moment, so I'm going to have to put some iron into it. So I'm going to put it in the chest for now. All this glass is almost refined. We've got quite a sh lot of shit here. Uh, I turned all those ores into gold. I'm going to need a lot more if I want to make my beacon out of gold. 19 diamonds. Happy with that. My glowstone for the monument. Uh, what else is there of use? Well, I've got a shitload of paper. Put all the lapis into blocks. So that's going to save me some inventory space. Got a shit load of ingots for iron. I'm gonna need to turn that into armor at some point. This is getting out of hand. <laughs> anyway, with my new pickaxe, I can go downstairs and get some decent stuff <laughs> when it comes to obsidian. Anyway, I'll be back in a while. I need. I really need to clean out that obsidian pool. <laughs> By the way, I remedied the problem with throwing my pickaxe. I removed Q as my throwing button. See. 
no it is now X X throws my my pick so I can no longer hit it by mistake well, I probably can but the chances are much much smaller and check out the speed of that obsidian mining oh yeah just the speed I like it oh yeah hmm this is looking a bit more looks like it's a lot more than I originally thought how far does this actually go doesn't look like it goes that far but I will, I'll stick it out until this is gone but if it, if it carries on going after this I'm probably gonna TNT to see how far it goes okay this is looking a bit sketchy it's going for quite a while I think I'm gonna put down some TNT and blast open this pool see whether I can't find out how far this goes because if that's the case I won't need to worry about obsidian for a very long time all right let's have a look here oh shit that's not good right fire in the hole oh god that's quite a bit obsidian already placed obsidian fire in the hole Yep, that's pre-placed. Oh, oh god, not the best time to get a block glitch. But yeah, I know where I stand here now. There's not that much to get rid of, actually. Except I'm still a bit skeptical as to what there is here. Right, I am going to blow this open though. I want to really find out what's here. Fire in the hole. Okay, not much actually. And here is just an entire bed of obsidian. Oh god. <laughs> That's not good, but hey. No, that is a good thing actually, I remember I'm there. Oh well, now I know where I stand, I can start getting rid of this. I won't do it all, I just need enough to finish off the tower. Alright, now the moment of truth. That is all the materials I think I'm going to need to build the tower. And. Jesus Christ, it's a lot of gear. All of this is going to be needed. That's, what is that, 27, almost 36 stacks of glass. 36 stacks. Is about 2,000 blocks. No, way more than that. Way more than that. But, I'm going to have to get to work with it. So, I'm going to bank all this stuff and I'm going to climb up the tower. And again, the sketchiness begins. <laughs> Gonna build another stack here. Keeping this ring here intact. I want to add something to this huge, huge ring of glass here to make it a bit more. And then, I don't know, I want to break it up because at the moment it just looks like a sheer pane of glass of a couple of rings and I want to make it look a bit more interesting. Like the bits in the middle. That's why I'm thinking of either interconnecting the rings, like bars that go up and down, on top of this. But I want to break the glass up, and I'm not sure how to do it. I did explore the idea of glass panes, but I figured it won't work, because there's always going to be one corner exposed when you go around this corner here. Uh, the straight that I'm working on now will be fine. This corner, there'd always be a corner per turn that would be exposed, so that wouldn't work. It was just the corners that gave me trouble really. So yeah I need to add 16 layers of glass to this which is by no means an easy feat. <laughs> Tell you what guys I've never built a project this big in Minecraft in my entire life nor have I been able to stick to it for this long but it is very nice. So I'm really surprised I managed to build so much in just 
what is this, 11 episodes now? I'm really, really proud of it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to admit I am proud. <laughs> It's always good to be proud of what you build. Don't let anyone tell you differently. I mean, by all, by all means, get some constructive criticism. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Everyone needs criticism every now and then just so they know what they're doing and maybe to improve. But if anyone tries to tell you that your stuff is garbage, well, don't let them tell you. Don't let them tell you that. Just get on with it. At the end of the day, even if your builds are bad, I mean, everyone has to start somewhere, don't they? Not everyone was born an expert. You know, I'm going to add another 11 more layers of this crap and I'll be right back. This is the ninth layer. This means I'm now 25 blocks up. I've just broken the lethal fall height barrier. So if I fall outside the tower, I better hope I land on the support beam. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm well and truly fucked in the ninth layer. Right, that's 15 layers. That means the next one is the obsidian ring. There's my Facebook. <laughs> it's all quiet while I'm building. As soon as I turn the camera on, bing, someone sends me a message. Come on, come on. This is very, very nerve wracking. <laughs> so it needs to have a full ring of obsidian all the way around the tower, over the top of the glass. Like so. Ah, yes, I totally forgot. The two middle ones have to be uh, glowstone. Thankfully, this efficiency pick makes mining obsidian a blast. But I'm not taking any chances. I'm so high up right now. Right, need to get rid of that. Need to get rid of that. I'll turn that into glowstone. This one needs to be glowstone. As you can see, I'm aiming, so if it breaks, I don't end up smashing the glass below with this super efficient pickaxe. Excellent. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm this high up. Right. You take this one out, and this one out. And replace that with glowstone. Perfect. Right, now these need to extend out. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. Three. Then this needs to be filled in with glowstone. This ring here needs to have three obsidian. One, two, three. Thank fuck for this sneaking trick, eh? Well, not really a trick, but you know what I mean. Mechanic. I I love the fact that you can't fall while sneaking. Doesn't mean I haven't had my fair share of accidents though, as I'm sure most Minecrafters have. Glowstone is the one material I really don't want to waste. I believe it's then three from here. Yes, it is. Bloody good show. <laughs> this has to be done one more time for the ring at the top as well. Three. 
yeah, I'm mirroring this because it's probably my way of making sure everything is correct when I build it. One, two, three. One more to do. Oh, ultra care to be taken. One, two, three. <laughs> My finger is becoming numb from panic holding shift. One, two, three. Right. Now I need to add one dirt here and then one obsidian here. We need to add a dirt here and then a glowstone here. And then a dirt. And then an obsidian. And then take that out. Like a nice clean finish. waste as I possibly can basically. That's three out of four. Two. There we go, that's two out of three support rings. That's half the tower completed. And so far I haven't killed myself. Touch wood. Okay, I'm going to do the next ring off camera. Hopefully, I won't have any accidents. On the final quarter now, I just finished off the third support ring, as you can tell. I've got 15 layers to build now. Uh, I still have about 18 stacks of glass downstairs, so that's going to give me a nice flat head start. But also, I found out that every ring that I do here, that I'm currently building, every layer is exactly 32 blocks, exactly half a stack. So, that's leaving me perfectly with the correct numbers. Perfectly with the correct numbers, that didn't even make any sense. Never mind, I'll shut up now. There we go. Hampton Towers ascending col column is complete. Oh yes, that is what I am fucking proud of. Yes! <sighs> Damn, that is a lot of work. I'm intrigued as to know why I've only got 16. Oh yeah, it's that final layer. Yeah, that 
final bit under the top obsidian halo was missing some blocks for obvious reasons because it's obsidian and not glass this is my leftover glass um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stacks close enough still got two and a half stacks of obsidian a quarter of a stack of glowstone my pickaxe is still really good got a shitload of redstone, shitload of iron oh I am proud of myself for this <laughs> alright it's time to start drawing up plans for the next episode I really hope you've enjoyed if you could could you uh, please give me a rating or subscribe if you feel that way inclined I'll put in a couple of shots of the tower from the outside uh, at the end of this video as for now I am the Soviet warlord peace and goodbye by the way, I've turned the clouds off for these pictures. <sighs> I'm so proud of this.